Yesterday, Android released its latest developer preview for Android 8.0, aka Android O Developer Preview 3. Today I update my Nexus 6P to this latest version, compare it to Android 7.1.2, and then update my Pixel XL to the latest developer preview as well and compare it with the 6P. If you're wondering how to update your phone to Android 8.0, this update is only for a select few phones like the Nexus 5X, Nexus 6P, Google Pixel, and Google Pixel XL. If you have one of these phones and you want to know how to update to this version, you'll need to enroll in the Android beta program. I'll leave a link in the description. Remember, this is a beta program. While both my phones have proved to be pretty stable, there may be apps that are incompatible, buggy, or you may experience a freeze here and there. The blood will freeze in my hands! What are you talking about? Here are a few changes in Android 8.0 Developer Preview 3, and actually just Android 8.0 Developer Preview overall, versus the stable Android 7.1.2. When you pull down the notification shade, you'll notice that the black background is now gone and has been inverted, a white background and black icons. I'm not sure if this was done to provide a consistent flow for the other notifications below, you know, to keep the background white for everything, I actually prefer the black background instead. To me, it pops out more. Other changes include the date and settings, the gear icon dropping below the quick toggle icons, the battery percentage now sits outside the battery instead of inside, and swiping right on a notification provides more than just allowing or blocking and silencing notifications. You can now snooze notifications as well. It defaults to 15 minutes, but you can extend it to 30 or up to an hour, or undo it altogether. And here's an expanded version of the quick settings drop down menu, panel, whatever you want to call it. Again, notice that the date and settings have dropped below the quick settings icons. Emoji has also been updated for Android 8.0. Gone are the quote unquote blob emoji Android used. I'll be honest, I was a bit partial to them and I'll be sad to see them go. I will remember you. 8.0 now offers a more universal style emoji that seems to be found on pretty much every other phone. The clock app has also been updated, no more blue and red theme, icons are now bigger up top with labels, everything else pretty much stays the same. The camera now adds a dedicated camera and video icon. The icon to switch from front to rear camera is also redesigned. The settings app has been redone, a lot of settings have been grouped together requiring less scrolling and the system UI tuner setting has removed the picture-in-picture -picture mode in Developer Preview 3. I really hope this is something they bring back. I haven't had a chance to mess around with it and would love to see it in a stable form. Now, if you've enabled it in an earlier version of uh, Android O, then you should be okay. It should still work. Now, I'm going to skip around here a bit and update my Pixel XL to Android 8.0 Developer Preview 3 and show you some of the differences between the Pixel XL and the Nexus 6P. Some of this, a lot of this, has already been apparent before Android 8.0. A lot of this isn't new, even though the Nexus 6P and Pixel XL share pretty much the same software, there are subtle UI differences. I figure since I have both phones side by side, I'd share. For example, the Google bar is different between the two. The Pixel XL shows the date on the top right, icons are different in shape and in design, the nav bar is tweaked on the Pixel XL as well, the 6P has a dedicated menu icon while the Pixel XL has removed that and instead you swipe from the bottom up to get to all your apps. I did notice when you hold down on an app icon, the Pixel XL offers you more features like adding a widget or going straight to its app info. And the Nexus 6P sports a teal and white design while the Pixel XL stays blue. Now, a few things I'd like to finish off with on Android 8.0 is a new battery animation in its battery settings, notification badges or dots on the app icon itself that alerts you with new notifications, duh. And finally, when you run an app like Spotify and pull down your notification shade, it mimics the colors of the album art cover. A really nice feature. And I'm sure there's a good amount that I've missed, but I hope this gives you a little peek of what's to come on Android O, Android 8.0, if and when you get it. <laughs>